good morning from Disney Springs. I just kind of wanted to come down here and do an update on Disney Springs because it's been so long since we've seen some of the stuff around and some of like the things that are happening and some of the updates that are happening. Also, we might stop by Gideon's and get their cookie because they, they have a new cookie every month. It's 13 days into April, but does sound good. It's like a toasted coconut chocolate cookie. So sounds delicious. I think we're going to give that a try today. If the line's not too long, we have to check and see. That's always the thing with Gideon's is who knows? Who knows how long the line is? But what we're going to do right now is we're going to go over to Cirque du Soleil and we're going to start on that end of Disney Springs and work our way down to the other end and just kind of check it out, see what's new, see what's going on and explore Disney Springs. We'll check on merch and things like that too. So let's go. So I came down here to start at Cirque du Soleil just to tell you guys Cirque du Soleil Drawn to Life is open. You can come and see shows here, but I also wanted to point out that if you're down here and you have the chance, you should try to do a tour of all the folk art here at House of Blues. They have a very extensive collection of folk art and we've done a video on some of it before and we'll put a link to that video in the description down below, but it is awesome. Like all of the different folk art here in the House of Blues, phenomenal. You guys should definitely check it out. So we're headed this way, further into Disney Springs. Of course, the first place that we come to is City Works, Eatery and Poorhouse. And there is an outdoor bar here that you can get stuff to go from. It's called City Works Express. You can get all of these different food options. Ooh, a peanut butter Snickers cup. That sounds amazing. Or you could get all of these beers and frozen drinks as well. Oh, you can also get to go food over here from the smokehouse outside of House of Blues. You can get a nice pulled pork sandwich or a barbecue chicken salad beef brisket sandwich, jumbo hot dog. That sounds amazing. Is there like a ghost inside it? I think there's a ghost inside of there. It's haunted. I also wanted to point out that over here at the old NBA experience location, they've taken down all of the signs. It is a very large building that we have no idea what they're gonna do with. It had, like was only open for, well, what did we say? It was like three or four months before the pandemic. And then after things started reopening later in the pandemic, it just never reopened. So no more NBA experience. I wonder what they're gonna do with it. It is a very large, footprint and very large building they have a lot of space to do all kinds of different things in. What would you like to see in this space? I will also say that every single person that we've ever talked to that has tried the sushi at Splitsville raves about it. So if you're in the mood for sushi at Disney Springs, give Splitsville a try. Why not? A place that I would like to come back and try again is Haleo by Jose Andres and they are open for lunch serving tapas, sangrias and more. Ooh. What is this thing? It looks interesting. It is also, just to forewarn you, a very extensive menu, which can add up quickly. I think that we'll definitely be back. I wonder if they have any outdoor seating. Oh, look, right there. I was about to ask if they have any outdoor seating. There's at least one table right there. And right next to Haleo is this construction wall, which was originally planned to be a restaurant called Beatrix, which we didn't have any information on other than the photos on the outside of the wall that used to be here. Uh, since the pandemic, that idea or that restaurant has been scrapped. So we don't know what's going to go in this space. And another, another very large space that could, that has a lot of potential. But the thing that stinks is we were excited for Beatrix because it seemed like a nice, healthy option here at Disney Springs. There are healthy options around, but not like an entire restaurant that seems healthy. So I don't know, the dishes, the photos of the dishes looked good. I don't know what fell through or what's happening and I don't know what's gonna go here, but I hope something does come because I love new stuff. Since we're on the topic of food, I wanted to mention that Everglazed has one of the best chicken sandwiches that I've ever had. And it's so unassuming because this is a donut shop. But yeah, get a chicken sandwich from here is really good. And that is right next to the AMC theater. Speaking of the theater, I was just kind of wondering, have you guys been back to the theater since the beginning of the pandemic? I went and I saw Encanto during Destination D23, but other than that, no, haven't been into a theater. Which the whole reason that I was pointing at this poster during that is because that's a movie that I would like to see, which is Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. And also everything, everywhere, all at once looks amazing. Those are two things that will be in theaters or are in theaters that I am very excited to see, but I don't think I'm gonna go see them in the theater. For Spider-Man, I waited until it came out and uh, it was kind of disappointed because I did get spoiled on Spider-Man, so I don't want to be spoiled on Doctor Strange. I don't know. I don't know what to do. It's like a predicament. And right next to the theater is this storefront that will become Salt and Straw. And Salt and Straw is an ice cream place over in California in their downtown Disney. Ooh, somebody just went inside. They're definitely working on it. 
But yeah, I am excited to try this. We tried it out in California and we'll see if we can put other people yelling. We'll see if we can put a link to that video in the description down below if we can find it. And so right next to the area where Beatrix would be, you can kind of see Haleo right over there. There is this exposition park, which is home to three food trucks. We've got a mac and cheese one. We've got a new one called Local Green. And then we've got the Four Rivers Cantina over there. But the one thing that I don't like about this is they all open at five. They are open from 5 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. I get it because there's not a lot of people here right now and it's almost noon on a Wednesday. But like, I wanna try these things earlier in the day, especially this Local Green one, because like we talked about Beatrix is was like it seemed like it would be a nice healthy option local green is actually a healthy option so it is vegetarian and pescatarian and you can see it is notated whether it's pescatarian or vegetarian with these symbols right here and i would like to try it it looks delicious and so their story is they was they were founded in 2018 local green atlanta was designed centering the needs to expand access to fresh food and improve health outcomes in Atlanta's underserved neighborhoods. So they started out as a food truck in Atlanta and then they expanded or scaled up to a brick and mortar store, which is in the West Side community, the historical West Side community in Atlanta. And they started up another food truck down here in Orlando at Disney Springs. So they have core values when it comes to their food and that is eating well with great tasting, affordable, nutrient rich food. So if you're interested in checking out this food truck, they will be open at five o'clock today, but also you can scan this QR code on your screen right now and that'll take you to their menu. Recently, there was a video going around of this Characters in Flight balloon kind of blowing all over the place. And if you look now, it is strapped down. And I know that they strap it down at night when they're not operating, but I wonder if they are operating at all today because it is slightly windy. I don't think it's windy enough to move it around as much as we saw in that video, but it is a little windy, a little breezy. I'll have to check and see if they have the hours posted. Speaking of Doctor Strange, I wanted to head into Marvel Superhero Headquarters have a look, see if they have any Doctor Strange merch, but also see if they have any Moon Knight merchandise because I am enjoying that show on Disney Plus. So no Moon Knight or Doctor Strange stuff yet, but they do have some Hawkeye stuff. They have Yelena, Kate Bishop, and Hawkeye here. And I like that Kate Bishop comes with Lucky. Oh, and they have some figures from What If, like Zombie Cap. We also met Zombie Captain America during Oogie Boogie Bash at Disney California Adventure. We'll put a link to that video in the description down below. So I didn't see anything for Moon Knight or Doctor Strange, but you can buy a Racket Raccoon tail. Ooh, it is worth a stop over at Star Wars Galactic Outpost to see if there is any Galactic Star Cruiser merch. Well, this is hysterical. Lando Calrissian Space Capes, simply the best in all Bespin. Amazing, I love it. $25. This is definitely one of the few things that you see with the word Grogu on it, and it's a spirit jersey. Grogu inside of his little carrier. This is a children's size here, and you can see he's eating a frog, he's drinking his broth, he's using the force, and then there's more frogs. It is always so interesting to me that you'll never see a price on an adult spear jersey, but they don't mind putting the price on the kids' one. So the kids' one is $60, but the adult one, I think it's $80. I'm not sure, because the price isn't actually listed anywhere. Well, there definitely was no Galactic Star Cruiser stuff in there, but uh, it was worth a check. We got to see a, a few cool things. Up next, Disney style in search of my elusive four town shirt. So there is definitely a turning red section. I just don't know if they have my four town shirt. We're gonna find out though. No, that's it. That seems to be everything. What's this? It's a little magnet set. That's fun. Ooh, yeah. So they have kind of like this vintage line that is out right now. It's like a, almost like a turtleneck like tank top i love the look of this 37 dollars, and then you could wear that with this little skirt here like a little denim skirt for 40 dollars. oh look at that yeah this looks awesome and then you put it on with this jacket which i love is like a sweet bomber jacket for 60 dollars, and you can see it matches for 80 dollars, they do have a her universe disney or mickey overall set i don't know if it's a set it's just overalls I like, I like the vintage look. I like the vintage feel of all this stuff. Oh, I just saw that they have a, is this a skirt version or a dress version? It is. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, this is like straight up 90s. This is $60 for this little dress, little overall dress. Some more vintage things, like I like this Mickey Mouse shirt. And then this Mickey and Pluto sweatshirt is the coolest. I love this. I wanna wear Mickey's outfit. That's what I want. I wanna dress like Mickey in this 
graphic. This sweatshirt is $55 and then the shirt over here is $37. Oh, also check out this sweet bucket hat for $30. I love this. And this sweatshirt also has some like long shorts that go with it that are also made out of that like sweatshirt material, but it's not the thick sweatshirt material. It's like a thinner sweatshirt material. And this is $50 for the shorts. And then this shirt, man, these are awesome. This one is $37 for this tank top. And I like this a lot. It's like a Hawaiian shirt, right? That's Hawaii or some island. The Disney Artist Series. Uh, this is way cool. It's $40. Raphael Faria, Faria. Raphael Faria. This is kind of like an oversized shirt that you might wear with leggings. I don't think that I could wear it. I don't think I could pull it off. And I'm also loving this like 90s style here of this like Mickey Mouse tank top with these bright neon pants here, like ski pants with a flat bill hat here too. Very cool. Oh, and they have a pop socket grip, like a pop grip here that is like a holographic Mickey Mouse for $25. Very cool. They have this red bandana print in both a hoodie and the pants that go with it. And it's got Sebastian in there. There he is, Sebastian, all over it. $55 for the hoodie and then $50 for the pants. Well, they have a few more type of, of sets here. We've got Little John and Robin Hood in like their, their scarves, ready for winter time. And then the pants that go with it. And then they have a Chippendale one. This Chippendale one's awesome. But it is very wintry, isn't it? Like, I feel like this was supposed to be here in the winter. Are these like the, yeah, these are the, the like fuzzier on the inside type sweatpants and sweatshirts. Well, this one's not, this one's not really that fuzzy. It's kind of like a, like a rugby shirt thickness. This is a little bit thicker than that though, but the inside of it feels like a rugby shirt, more like a thick polo. So speaking of places to eat, We've never had a bad meal over here at Wolfgang Puck's Bar and Grill. We'll put a link to a video in the description down below of us eating there. But as I was passing by, they gave me a little sample of their peppermint bark gelato. Holy cow, this is delicious. Like this is fantastic. I, and it's great too, because it's a little window. Like you can just pick it up and walk around Disney Springs with it. They also do drinks and everything there too. So if you're looking for something to eat or drink, Hop by the little window, get yourself some gelato and a nice drink. All right, so we've made it to about, I would call this close to the center. This is usually where the big Christmas tree is at Christmas time. Sephora's over there. The buses are kind of right back down in there. Uh, I'm gonna head this way and head towards like Gideon's. I might stop at Deluxe to get a burger. I don't know yet. I haven't really figured out what I wanna eat for lunch. I'm definitely gonna go get my name on the list to go to Gideon's though. Also, I wanted to point out that there is Zara over here, and this is where I got one of my favorite Disney shirts. It's like a Disney Hawaiian shirt, like uh, that looks like posters of, of luau's and things like that, that Mickey and Minnie and Donald would perform in. You always gotta check, look at this shirt. Look at a sweet 3D looking Krusty the Clown shirt. He's wearing 3D glasses and he's got a Krusty burger in each eye. And this one is $39.90. I like it, it's cool. Yeah, they have some Disney stuff here. This one's cool, Walt Disney's Mickey Mouse. It's all going to be okay. Disney times call for Disney movements. This one's like a striped shirt with Mickey on it. Another striped shirt with Mickey. I don't know what this is, just like a purple polo. Yeah, I think so. So we just came out of Zara. We're right next to Disney Springs Guest Relations, but I also wanted to point out that Melissa, which is a shoe company, was closed for a while for refurbishment. And I guess they reopened as Melissa Club E. I feel like they still sell just shoes, but these are like jelly shoes and they have a scent to them. So the shoes always smell nice, but they're like jelly shoes. Oh, look at these. These flip-flops look so comfortable. Oh my goodness, I feel like there's barely any wait for Gideon's. Like maybe a five, 10 minute wait. I gotta check and see if there's a return time or something. Why is the wait so short? I don't think there is. People are just getting in line. Let's do it. All right, we waited about six minutes and now we're heading into Gideon's. This is what the special cookie for the month is. The roasted coconut caramel chocolate chip. That's what we're gonna get. I feel like I'm probably also going to get an original chocolate chip. Maybe this pistachio though. Oh man, this pistachio, I haven't had it in a while. I'm gonna get that pistachio. Also, peanut butter banana cake. Look at how thick the icing is in between these slices of cake. Holy cow. Ooh, actually, this one is the mocha salted caramel and this one's the peanut butter one. Peanut butter banana double frosted cake. Yes. What is this? Andy's mint and cookies and cream. Oh man, that sounds amazing. And they still have a key lime pie. Missed this one. This one was the golden Oreo vanilla cake. Here it is, the cookie of the month. Toasted coconut caramel chocolate chip cookie. Looks delicious. All right, let's give it a try. Mmm, okay. 
so far it just tastes like their typical chocolate chip with a little bit of toasted coconut in it. Very good. I'm not getting any of the caramel. I mean, that's definitely delicious. Wow, I like what the coconut adds to this. I don't know why, but coconut cookies always remind me of springtime. And so this is a, like a great addition to the moment because it is spring right now. That's really interesting. So when I was eating the cookie, I didn't get a lot of caramel flavor, but now that I've like eaten the, I've had three bites of the cookie, my mouth tastes like caramel. My mouth tastes like caramel and coconut together. Not as much chocolate chip in there. That's amazing. Like it's like a, your mouth goes on a little journey. So here's something that's interesting. The line for the Lego store is longer than the line for Gideon's. We've got one more stop. We're gonna stop over at World of Disney, but first, I'm gonna grab a bite to eat over here at BB Wolf Sausage Company. Here's a look at the menu. What do I wanna get? Three Little Pigs sounds amazing. It's like all three. Okay, that's what I'm gonna get. It's like a mix of all of their specialty ones. Okay. This Mardi Gras smoked craw dog, though. I don't eat crawfish, though. Bratwurst sausage. They do have a plant-based option. But yeah, I'm gonna get this Three Little Pigs one. So there's a lot of noise over in this area where I'm sitting, but it was the only spot that had tables. So I got the Three Little Pigs. This is the Pastrami Reuben Dog, the Texas Chili Cheese Dog, and the Hawaiian Island Dog. They gave me a lot of hot dog in this Hawaiian Island one. So due to the loud music over here, I'm just gonna eat these off camera and then tell you guys my thoughts afterwards. Okay, so I finished all three sections of the hot dog, and I have to say, Chili Cheese Dog, bottom of the rung there. Just like a normal Chili Cheese Dog. They did put Frito pieces on the top, which kind of elevated a little bit, but still not a huge fan of chili cheese dogs. I don't hate chili cheese dogs, but like I would prefer something else. The Reuben was pretty good. Like the Reuben dog was, was pretty good. Uh, it had like Thousand Island dressing on there. The actual pieces of pastrami were like kind of like dried out. I would not get a full one of that, but that uh, Hawaiian dog, whoo, buddy, that was real good. Like really good. There was a uh, ham and pineapple, like salsa on the top. It was on top of like this, like a perfectly cooked beef, like a, like a Vienna sausage or a Vienna uh, hot dog. Oh man, it was really good. I could eat that hot dog all day long, like no stop. You know how sometimes if you eat a hot dog, you're like, ah, oh, is it too salty? I just can only eat so much of a hot dog. That one, if there was a two foot long version of that, I would eat it no problem. It was delicious. All right, next stop, World of Disney in my ever quest for a four town shirt. Another thing that I am constantly looking for is the Muppets Dewey Mows. I've never found them. They have a lot of other stuff from this line here in World of Disney. Like they have dog bowls and dog leashes. Oh, and collars. It's like a leash slash collar set. They just have a, a, a framed photo or a framed graphic that says, be happy. What was the other thing that I saw that I hadn't seen before? Oh, this little, did we see this little trinket dish? I think we might have. Oh, this over here. This like basket set, Winnie the Pooh baskets. It's cool, I like it. And this nightlight still. Oh, they have these big fuzzy ears, like these Sherpa ears. And they also have this headband. And these socks down here. Oh, a weighted plush with removable two and a half weighted pouch with a two and a half pound weighted pouch. Oh man, yeah, that thing's heavy. This is such a good idea, but at the same time, like getting that back home, you're just adding two and a half pounds to your luggage, right? How much is it? $40. They also have this same line in kids clothes. I do like this like pastel tie dyed spirit jersey. It's cool. Oh, and they have the bucket hat to match and you could get one for your kids too. It's kind of like they tried to make Mickey's, isn't it? Yeah, I feel like that's what they were going for when they dyed them. Oh, oh my gosh. I've been waiting for these pajamas to be back in stock for the longest time. They are women's cut, but I kinda want them because they're awesome. Oh, but do they not have the pants? Oh, the pants come. Yeah, it's a set. Sweet. We're gonna get this. I, I don't know what size. I feel like extra large maybe? I've been literally waiting for these pajamas to come back in stock since uh, what, September of last year? Uh, I'm so excited, I'm gonna wear them. I'm gonna wear them all the time. I've always wanted pajamas like this. They're not as soft as I thought they were gonna be, but that's okay. We're gonna give them a try. I'm gonna try wearing like uh, pajamas. Oh, okay, so I found the turning red section. So far, it's all the same stuff that was over at Disney Style. They do have the hat. I don't think they had the hat at Disney Style, but everything else I think they had. Dang, yeah. No four town shirts. Shoot. 
We'll keep looking. You know what? This one finally came back in stock, so you never know. Maybe Fort Town will come back in stock too. Easter is fast approaching, and for $28, they have a Mickey Mouse plush in a bunny outfit, and it says 2022 on the bottom of his foot. Yeah. Adorable. I feel like I've seen Apple Watch bands before, but not as often as I see phone cases for D-Tech, like Disney themed ones, like this one has Stitch all over it. Are these, I think that these are little Wilderness Explorers backpacks to hold your AirPods. That's fun, yeah, because these are all the AirPod cases down here. All right, I think that that's about everything that I can think of that's new here at Disney Springs. If I missed anything, leave me a comment down below and next time we come out, we'll definitely be checking it out. I just realized as I was walking back to the car, there is a Coca-Cola store here. So I wonder if they have that Coca-Cola Starlight in here. They've got this Royal Watermelon Margarita up on the rooftop bar. So let's check and see if they've got the Coke Starlight. Ooh, they have the Coke Zero Starlight. So what's, what's this one up here? This is just a regular Coca-Cola Starlight. I like the idea of it being a smaller can. I'm gonna get this and then I, it's space flavored and then I'll get one for Jen and see what she thinks of it. So Coke Starlight, little teeny tiny can. Cost me $2.50 for this can. Smells like a regular Coke. I'm not really a fan of Coca-Cola. I'm not really a fan of sodas, but let's give it a try. I feel like when I read the description, it said that it was a cooling flavor. It's definitely not a cooling flavor. It's like Coca-Cola with Skittles in it. Skittles flavored Coca-Cola. It's bizarre. I always wondered what space tastes like. Now we know. It tastes like Coca-Cola and Skittles. Who came up with the idea that this is what space tastes like? I commend you, because like, I don't think I would have thought it would taste like this. I feel like I'd just be like, the absence of, of flavor would be space for me, right? I don't know. I'm glad that I tried it. I'm gonna take one home to Jen, let her try it, see what she thinks. But today was a good day. We got to check out Disney Springs, see all kinds of stuff that's coming, stuff that's going, stuff that's been here, stuff that's not coming. Talk about all kinds of different things. It was a great day. We finally got our pajamas, still no four town shirt. One day we'll find it and we will be the owners of a four town shirt because we are four townies, but I don't know when that'll be. One day, one day it'll for sure happen. We did find it once, but it was too big. I need like a size large and they only came in extra large and two XL. So at least we got the pajamas. We got to try Coke Starlight, had a delicious hot dog. It was a good day. Glad I came out. The weather was amazing. So all in all, a fantastic day. And with that being said, we are off. We will see you all tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.